Alrighty, so today on the wonderful, beautiful, lovely s gaming Metarox, um, we're going to be doing a episode of Magic the Gathering. Now, for those of you who are expecting Halo today, I'm sorry for that. Um, I actually was like last night, or well, I should say very, very early this morning, I was actually looking at um, setting up a draft uh, draft thing for today because I have enough to do a quick draft um, a quick, quick draft of Zendikar Rising so and that's what we're going to do um, and we have enough to get in uh, remember 50 gems if you this is the easiest way you can gain things so this is not is no if there was better options please do let me know down below in the comments because that's going to be the best way to um let me know if there was something I could have done better or whatnot um so let's get going we're going to try to see what we've what we can get um this is draft against AIs with no waiting and no pick timers okay so this is just allows me to pick with whatever I need to pick so, what I'm going to try to do is we look at, okay, this is Thieving Skydiver, which I always try to look at what's good, what do we get here. Um, and it's about if it was kicked. And it's about if it was kicked, gain control of target artifact with converted mana cost X or less. If that artifact is an equipment, attach it to Thieving Sky Driver. Okay, whenever you gain life for the first time, create a 1-1 one, one white cat creature token. Um, we got Akamon Warrior, which enters the battlefield, gains us land and or trample. Um, we got Relic Axe. I'm um, target creatures you control, get plus 0, plus 3 until end turn if the spell was kicked. That creature also gains hexproof. Um, that's a 1-1 one, one, Zeliot. Um, I don't like playing black, but I know... Expedition champion as long as you control another warrior. So we could build a warrior deck. Um let's do let's go with I think let's go with a warrior deck. Um enters the tax plus one uh um it really enters the battlefield, target creature you control, spells cast one last to cast each for each creature in your party. Um so far this is the only one that I like is Thieving Skydriver, but is this uh, attended healer, which is um, which that might be something because we don't know. Um, we I also like this um, expedition champion, which is gets us as long as you control another warrior. So that means that's a four three, and that's also allowing me to get land, extra land if we need it. If it's a warrior. Um, if it's a warrior, I think let's go with warrior. Let's go with warrior's expedition. Um, but I like this thing. So when it enters the battlefield, attached to a creature you control, the creature gets plus one, plus one. So warrior it gets plus two, plus one instead. Um, okay, so I'm thinking let's go with this one here because that's a, that's cheap. Let's go with the relic axe and see what we get. Um, oh, Skyclave Centipede. Um, human, that's a human wizard. Expedition healer has life long as long as you control another cleric. Okay, so Relic Axe. Um, Bubble Snare, when Bubble Snare enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, target it, target creature doesn't attempt. Enchant creature, when Bubble Snare enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, Tap enchanted creature. She gets an untap during its controller's untap step. So bubble snare. Um we got relic axe. We could go for another relic axe. Um and try to bank on that. This will cost us see we could do Seagate Colossus, which it is a warrior. To be honest with you, as long as it's a warrior Let's get Seagate Colossus in here. I know it's a 7, but it costs 1 less to cast for each creature in your party. So we'll do Confirm Pick. 
there. Dark creature with power two or less. Roll. Cat horror. <laughs> um, go sense is that equal to the sacrifice creature's power? Um, um, let's see. Destroy. Um, let's go for this creature, this goblin creature. We're gonna go with the red deck, I guess. Cause we got the goblin warrior, so. And whenever a good catcher attacks, it gets plus one until end of turn for each creature in your party. Let's let's go with that one. Um, that's a human wizard, human warrior, expedition champion. Um, we also got this. Um, when it attached, target creature you control get equipped gets plus two plus zero. Um, we also got Skyclave Sentinel. If that command was kicked, it gets plus one. It gets two plus one plus counters on it as long as Kaku has plus one plus counter on it. It can attack as though it didn't have defender. Um, that's also, that's not a, let's go with this expedition champion here. Um, destroy target land, its controllers may show to their library for basic land card, put it on the battlefield tap, then shuffle their library. Um, that's a wall, creatures you control have haste, defender, and reach. Um, could you use your control have haste though? Okay, so we want to have haste. Um, I don't really want this Paraclet enters the battlefield and return a land you control to its own sin. When you do, Paraclet does two damage to each opponent. Actually, let's let's do that, I guess. Um That's also another wall there. Um, we got Scorch Rider into the battlefield that was kicked. It gains haste until end of turn. Um, Scorch Rider is a 4-3. 3-4. Three, 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 um, let's... I am going to pick this one here. I don't think that it's probably... Utility Knife into the battlefield. Target you control. Attach target you control. It gets plus one, plus one. Um, we have... Um, Seagate Colossus, which I'm only going to put one in there. Um, let's go with Utility Knife. Um, enter the battlefield. Add one for each creature, add one mana for each creature in your party. That's going to definitely help. Um, should I disenchant? Um... Choose target creature you control, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature in your party. I'm not trying to go green, I'm trying to go more of Terra Peak Ambush gets plus two plus zero until end of turn. Put a plus one counter on up to one target creature you gain gain two life. You may play an additional land this turn. I actually think maybe we do is a mix of Okay, we have to pick one which is better. Counter target creature spell unless control pays one, pay Plus an additional one for each creature in your party. Until the turn if that spell is kicked, the creature also gains a proof until end of turn. And cleansing fire wildfire. Okay, so legendary creature Diana the last you know, blood chief. Um, this one's, we got another one of those things. Um, we don't got any green, do we? We've got Sla Skyclave Pickaxe. Um, when Skyclave Pickaxe enters the battlefield, attach it to target creature you control. Land into the battlefield under your control. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus one, two until end of turn. Ever land into the battlefield under your control. Ah, okay. So that one might be a good one here um stonework patch it um that basically two add one man of any color that's not a good one uh, let's go with sky cave click axe here um we got territory touch blade 
enchant land. Um, Scorch Rider. Um, we got target cre target creature with power two or three can't be blocked this turn. Um, death touch. I think I want to gather this one here because that's a cheap death touch. It's a one one death touch for cheap. Um, whenever enters the battlefield, you may discard card if you do draw a card. Dark creature control deals damage equal to its power to target creature you don't control. Creature you control fights target creature you don't control. Or, um, Kalana territory. Um, we could do a land or an instant. Um, this one's a sorcery. This one's target teacher deals equal to his power to target creature you don't control. This one target creature you control fights target creature you don't control though. Okay, so that one's only costing by two target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to target creature you don't control. I'm gonna confirm that pick over there more than that one. Um okay, so here we have Akram Warrior, which is that four or five. Um, do we have Akram Warrior in here? Because I was thinking about putting him in here. Um, whenever land and spend from your control, Spitfire does one damage to each opponent. I actually like that better. Um, enters the battlefield, dark card. Um, Might of Mursa. I'm actually going to go with the Spitfire Lilac. Here. Nama Calhoun, whenever land and spend from your control, Akram gets... Ekram Hellhound gets plus two, plus zero to land of turn. Um, enchanted land, trample, whenever a land enters the battlefield in your control, put a plus one, plus one counter on Tutorial Scythe Kate. That's actually going to be good. Making... Whenever land enters the battlefield in your control, you gain one life. Um, enters the battlefield in your control. Um, we could do Spitfire Lilac again. Um... We also got this base camp. Base camp. Edward Man of any color. Spin this metal cast Lyric Warrior or Wizard Spell to activate this ability. No. I think let's go with this um, Spitfire Lilac. Again. Um, let's see here. Um, whenever land in Spitfire on your control. When it's good, enter Spitfire attached to target you control. Get creature gets plus two plus zero. Um, that's, that or that, whenever a land is battlefield. Um, that one, I think this one's going to be a lot better than that Akram thing, but if we do get that as a last resort thing. Um, enters the battlefield. Um, and whenever a land is battlefield under your control, you gain one life. I want the, do we have, um, connect, groom? No, so let's let's go confirm that pick there. Um, ten true sense scatter. Um, is there anything defender reach? Um, creatures you control have haste. That creature with power two or less can't be blocked this turn. Um, Mercer brutal. I'm um, enchant land. When enchant land dies, return that card to its owner's hand. For for elemental creature with reach and haste, it's still a land. Let's confirm that pick more, I think, than Mercy Birdle. Um, into it, rage, target creature gets plus three, plus three. Two into land, turn scry one. Um,. Plus three, plus three till end of turn. If the spell was kicked, that creature gets plus five, plus five until end of turn instead. Um, scare, spare supplies into the battlefield tap and spare supplies into the battlefield draw a card. Um, I don't want to do spare supplies. Let's do with Might of Mercy. Um, okay, so we got this Nissa Skeldon again. And Strength of Solidarity. Put a target creature you control plus one plus one on you. 
on it for each creature in your party. Nice. Okay, so we got Lillian's Tyrant. You don't you don't lose unspent red mana as steps and phases end. When Lillian Tide dies, you may pay any amount of red when you do. It does that much damage to any target. Um, that's gonna be probably one that I pick, Mr. Sprawly, that I'm gonna pick out of here because that's basic as a 4 4 flyer. And I'm pretty sure that's probably what I'm gonna pick. So let's confirm that pick. Um, sacrifice X lands for each land sacrifice this way. Draw a card, you may pay X additional lands this turn. Lands you control into the battlefield tap this turn. I don't really want that. Um,. Skyforge Lalek. Um, we have Spearforge Lyric. Um, that one enters the battlefield to gain one life. Tetural Blade, Utility Knife, and Spatterfield Tiger Creature Control gets plus one plus one. Um, I am going to probably, like, just going through, there's probably some good cards here that are really good, but I don't really want to go too fixated. So far, I'm thinking um, the Kandu Nectar or the um, the Nizza Ekstern. Um, let's go with this again. I'm going to confirm that pick. Um, Shift your library for basic land card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. If the spell was kicked, shuffle it for two basic land cards instead of one. It's a battlefield, you turn up to two land cards you control to their owner's hand. Um... Relic, ri relic Vile. As long as you control a... Cleric Relic Vile has when a, a recruit you control dies. Each opponent loses one life. You gain one life. Um, I'm thinking Reliquarium Raid. Um, that's also Trample, though. Kansaru Stomper and the battlefield return up to two lands you control to their owner's hand. That means just returning it to their owner's hand, though. Or reclaim the wastes. I think let's do reclaim the wastes. Um, Spike has one damage to each target if a permanent dealt damage this way would die this turn exile instead. Those for damage to target creature and X damage to the creature's control over X the number of creatures in your party. Target effect enchantment destroy target artifact enchantment or creature with flying. Whenever um Kelvin's kite site enters the battlefield, target creature you control equipped creature has flying. Um is this cast this card, discard a card, tormenting voice. Not really not really liking that. Um, so far, the only one I would buy is Broken Wings, get is Broken Wings, or, um, Clavin Kite Sail, Kite Sail. X is where X is controller number of, or, or Synchronized Spellcraft, but I think, let's go with Kite C Clavin. Um... Into the battlefield was kicked. All creatures able to block target creature this turn. Block. When tormenting into the battlefield, if it was kicked, all creatures able to block target creature this turn do so. Dotless survivor put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. Um, I'm liking this tormenting abermage. Um, Sizzling Barrage deals 4 damage to a creature that that blocked this turn. Um, scale the Heights, put a plus one plus one counter on up to one target creature you gain to life. You may pay an additional land this turn. That one's actually pretty good. Um, and Sizzling Barrage is also good as well. As well, but let's go with Scaling the Heights. Unless we already have Scaling the Heights. We do have a single Scaling the Heights. Um, we do have Sizzling Barrage, though, as well, if I'm not mistaken. We do not. 
So Zing Barrage is for damage to a creature that block so Zing deals for damage to a creature that blocked this turn. Let's go with that. Um when Dragon Visionary enters the battlefield, draw a card. Whenever land is battlefield in your control, put a plus one plus one counter on territory sky. Um okay, so we got between these two. Um is it X Delegon? Is probably going to be better. Um, I'm going to confirm that one. Melfire Lurlac. Sizzling Barrage. Um, broken Wings. Um. Never clear steps, block creatures that creatures are untapped during scroll of sex and tap step. I'll confirm that blue one. And they got Mersa Brutal. Alright, so there's our um our deck. So what we have right here is we have fifty nine cards. We're gonna do everything. We're gonna include Okay, actually, no. We're going to clear out all the blue cards out of this deck for sure. So that means that we're at 57. Um, we're at 57 lands. Um, I want... We're at 57 cards. I do not want to go... Um, we can only have 40. Um, where's the, um, our single Mersa Brute? We're gonna get rid of that one as well. Um. Something, Acromage, Denju, Snare, Scale the Heights. Um. So what I want to do is, I just want to set up, let's actually drop that down there. Um, we have Spitfire Italic. We can modify this as we go. As we go. So I want to get it down to 50. Um... Offender, all creatures you control have haste. Um, Expedition Champion. It's battlefield, add one for each creature in your party. Um, we did get that one. <sighs> Good. Leyline Tyrant, which basically you may pay any amount when you do to that much damage in your target. Um, this one, we gotta keep this one in here for that reason. Um, let's go, let's get rid of anything that has higher than a, except for lands, so let's go with anything that gives a higher than a three, than a two. Um, scale the heights, um, ensure you control fights. Um, ten true snare. Your snare caster, I'm gonna get rid of the ten true snare caster. Um, let's just go with what we've got. Um, we can edit this deck. Okay, we will, let's go and play. We'll try this out, see how well it goes. So drafting is, that's pretty easily one of the hardest things to do. Um, quick draft. You don't have to worry about timers and stuff, so you can take it as slow as you want. It's not really a quick draft. Um, we can only, right now, we can only play the utility knife, so let's mulligan by one. Um. Oh, we gotta return two cards, so... 
Let's go. Let's return those two there. I know I'm way down there at the low end totem pole. And normally I don't mill. Normally I don't. Normally I just go with what I've got. But I'm playing with 47. He's playing with absolutely 40. Adventure awaits. Okay, I'm gonna pass. I know he's gonna be able to attack right away. My turn. Now, we do have some green creatures, but it's... See, he's playing... He's playing, um... Green-white. I'm playing... Um... Okay, so we're gonna do that there. Um, for land into the battlefield, this one it requires four, but um, And I don't have any really any flying. I have like one card that makes my creatures have flying. Um, let's go. Let's go. Let's put a one, one death touch. All, what my deck is all about is making big creatures, but I'm not going to attack just quite right away. That's why I have scaled the height so I can play additional land. But for some odd reason, it didn't, I didn't have any extra land. And I could have done it, I could have done it previous one. But I played that with a four, and I really wanted that out, and I didn't want to get that any upgradable. Anywho, um, whenever land is the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on that, or um, so it's two. We can't do the kicking cost because we don't have the thing. I just wanted to. Okay, all creatures have haste. I'm not going to attack just quite yet because I want to, um... Because I want to make sure that I have enough for Sizzling Barrage. But we know that we got that thing. We got the Cameron Outrider. Oh, okay. 
Okay. So we're going to need to save for that. So I really... Um... Okay, so it does not... If it's a... It gets... That's a wall. Um... I got sizzling barrage, so that's gonna really put a wrench if he does. Not attack. Um, I could have done, um, give him a plus three, plus three, but I think leaving that wall there, <laughs> I don't know. But I don't know if Northern Lights can hear me, but I don't think so. I don't think I don't think anybody can hear me anyways. So we want to try to the easiest way. This is the best way that you can, um, without spending any money in the game. So, that's going to be a 3, 6. If I do this correctly, Battlefield attached to tag that you control whenever could This time I'm going to do two attackers. I wish I had land, though. Okay. Um... What I am going to do is... Lift it over to that guy there. For now. I know that we... That if he was attacking... If was blocking anything, I would have done Sizzling Barrage on one of his creatures, so... I just need one more so I can play this. Oh! Oh! Yeah, see, it's I can't even play that now. Only if I could get freaking land, this would do me wonders. But he's got. That's kind of why I like. I want to get one more mountain.
Okay, so... I go with an all-out attack. I think that's what I'm going to do. If that thing didn't cost red, I should have bounced a forest, but... I should have bounced a forest rather than bounced a mountain. Just in case we get a second mountain. That's why I shouldn't have attacked with him for sure, but. But that does get trampled through. That's why that's why I should have never bounced to the mountain or just should have never played that four or five. But doing him two damage. Only if I had a a burn spell. I would like that. Only if I had a burn thing. And I if I get it next turn, I still have a thing that can I think I still have another thing that can do burn. So if we get something with that burn, we can do deal three damage to him. If I get a burn. And I think I do have one. If I'm not mistaken. It's up to him if he decides to attack me. Um, we're going to attack. We're going to block that one. Because that's two, three, four. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Yep. You didn't think of that, did he? All right. All right. There's our first victory for the foreseeable thing. So right now, um... We have a first 100 win for the. We have a first win for the day. We get our 275 XP. We have our first. We have our first bonus. We have 100 so far. We have 100, 100 gems. Um, if we win our next one, we get 200. Then we go 300, 450, 650, 850, and 950 gems in two packs. Now, I don't know, I think when you get here, I think that's what you get if you win here. Uh, we're not going to resign. Um, I don't think you get the 50. I think you get it when you, you get what you get when you have seven wins. Combo decks focus on finding and casting spells that work together, producing powerful effects. Often, winning the match. Mine is about um, creating big creatures, but... Um, okay, so this is a good hand to start off with. We got choose a creature that creature can target plus one plus one for each party. Um, Gate Colossus. Um, we have the. I think we're gonna keep this time.
sneaking guide. Oh, he's playing the. He's playing the. Oh, we got ruined crab. Ouch! No. <laughs> no. Okay. Each creature in your party. Oh, it's basically, yeah, if I had Rune Crab, if I knew about Rune Crab, I would have. Um, let's go with another red. Um... That one's got trample. He could cancel it. Yeah, we need to find a way to destroy that ruined crab. He's playing a blue-black deck over there. He has two and he's gonna... I shouldn't have played that. I should have paid attention, but... If it chooses to block... <sighs> That's what I was kind of hoping that he would do. Attacks. We have a seven five Seagate Colossus. Hmm. Oh, power of two or less can't be blocked. Oh, dang. Oh, well. I didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. Here's an 8-5. That's why I have the Tenchuru Blades.
It's indestructible, and we're going to say no. I can only block one of them. Oh, I probably should have equipped that with that thing so that any... As long as he doesn't have land, we're good. Uh, yeah, I forgot about that. That's why I was like, I was hoping I'd get something to destroy flying, but... Okay, so we lost, our, so we lost one match, which is okay. Um, so, when we leave, when you lose three matches, you're done with the, um, you're done with playing with, uh, the draft. For quick draft, anyway. So, quick draft is pretty much an easy way for you to get, um, crystals without having to spend any money in the game. If you want to buy something to, just to help to support the, um, developers that's okay that's up to you me i already i don't need to support them i support the paper magic more than i support the the physical i support the physical aspect more um this one i would like to mulligan at least once okay we're good here um and to keep we have to let's put i'm gonna put um Relic down there. That. Um. Search for a basic mountain here. I'd rather take mountain. No blocks, because it's pretty... 
the mountain. No attacks. But we will modify this deck just a little bit, making it so that we have a full 80, full 60. Got two, um, we're gonna say no attacks. So you have a 5-4 right now, and all of his creatures are a lower than that, so. So, and Long Gone Silver is doing pretty good right now. Um, it's only, it's only a 4-3 right now. I'm going to still say no blocks, but I really need to, I'm, I shouldn't have said no. I should have really... Destroyed it, but it was a 4 3 and I didn't want to lose this. But I guess. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have said that, but. Um, all, it is, all it did was I just paid two extra just for kick it. And I. It's like, what are the land? What are the things I can do? This time, I'm not going to block. I will not going to say no to blocking. Battlefield, you may return a land you control to its under sand. When you do, Paramount deals two damage to each opponent. <laughs> no, thank you. Um, no attacks. So yes, so that's actually like that's the whole reason. Is mine is all about getting big creatures out. Unless he has something over there that's going to deal damage. Which I'm just going to use Scorch Rider and kill both of our creatures, but that... Okay. So what we'll do is we'll go there, we'll go there, and we'll go there. Oh, that's a 7-5, though. No! 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 And he's got two creatures. He's got three now. She's got pretty good synergy with his deck over there. Only if I had two of those right off, like one right after the other, that would be even better. But, man. 
Good game. Uh-huh, good game. My deck isn't very good at synergy, so... But we're still going to gain some. We're almost still going to gain that 100, so we're... Still got one more to go, and it's probably going to be our last one last one for the for the time if we lose. If we don't, we got, we're going to continue to keep going. And we're going to make this video as long as it needs to take until we lose. So I'm going to keep this hand because this time, because we do got, um, we don't have anything to do with green, but eh, I think, I think I will keep it because we got smoldering braid and then, yeah, I think we'll do this one. We're not going to. So basically, we both played sneaking, sneaking guide. Chooses to attack. I was gonna say. No. I think we're playing with somebody who has kind of the similar idea with my deck, with the same deck. I'm going to let that resolve. And pass. Okay. Metafield, we turn the land to its own sand when you do. Um. Let's go. I would rather do green. Uh huh. Because that way, at least he knows he's got, we got green. Okay, so we're going to play our forest this turn. Um, I should have actually played it, um... Um, let's see here. Because you can taste until it's turn. No, let's go with that there. Okay, whatever. Whatever, dude. I was expecting for him to do that. To be honest with you. 
Because that was um, Broken Wings. And I only got one Broken Wings out of all of that. So he's got the similar idea I do. Um, let's go. Let's save that as an instance there. Um, let's go with Cayman Rider, but not go. Because it's already got haste because of this thing here. So basically, we both got the same idea. We both ran with it. Um, if he attacks, Maybe I shouldn't have, maybe I shouldn't have played him. Played that one dude. And waited for Incendiary Rage. Okay. We're gonna say next and no. Um, and turn. Because that's basically, it gets five... Haste and Vigilance. So nine ten. Lock with that one over there. Lock that there. And... Lock that, I guess. Oh, what? Oh, someone had trample on top of it. Okay. Well, that's going to be it for today's video, I guess. So, we claim our prize, we get our 100 gems, and we get our Zendikar pack. Let's open up our extra pack that we get. Um, Stonework Patch Beast is something new, but I are already... And that one's Counter-Track Spell unless it's Control Plays 1. Um, Kurrigan Intimidator, which is a 3-1. Um, choose one... That hasn't been... Um, cards can't block words. Choose one that hasn't been done this turn. Intimidator gets plus one, plus one. And then the turn, target creature becomes a coward until end of turn. Target warrior gains trample until end of turn. Okay. Okay, let me check my daily deals for the day. Oh, what? I could have gotten 500 gems for for that. What? I could have I could have wasted and maybe saved myself some time and not go through all the hassle of getting that. Oh. Hey. Okay, so if I kill fifth, if I kill five or more opponents creatures, um then we're good. Um let's see what time is it? Okay. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to end that there for today. Um, I will probably get that 500 thing here and then, which, which spending on that, getting that daily 500 on the gems, if we, if I did that, um, you know, that would have, that would have helped me out getting three packs in three packs of a thing. 
let me think, or getting extra stuff from the store. But I guess, I guess that's all right. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, make sure you guys hit that like button. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe. Um, actually, what if I, how much is it? How much would it have costed me? Um, okay, to unlock that, that costs 3400 3, All right, so, um, yeah, so we will, um, see you guys later. So make sure you guys hit that like button, make sure you guys hit that subscribe. Um, I will be, um, if you guys are watching this, um, the reason why I am recording this for today is because I was just like, I really just wanted to take a little bit of a break, and I also earned those that gold last night, or way 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 earliest this morning. So I wanted to um, show you guys a draft, a quick draft of Zendikar Rising. So yeah, so we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Ugh, gotta go make supper. Really, yes.